Welcome back to Making Records with Eric Valentine. That's me. Uh, so here we go. Here's another installment. So this one, um, the first bit, uh, I'm talking about uh, fiber optic uh, inter internet and network stuff. So um, I go over um, how I'm getting you know fiber optic internet to this barn because there's no there's no connection for that at all. Um, I ended up just trying to make it happen myself and. Uh, uh, figuring that out, and then uh, and then in, I talk through sort of the the overall vision for what the networking is going to be in the studio and how that's all going to work. So you can check that out. All right, so today is trenching day for the fiber optic cable going to the barn. There, there's the barn. I think I'm aiming that right. And so here it is. You can see the cable. Yeah, see the cable going going down the trench. Pew. It's, you know, probably a little over a thousand feet by the time it actually lands inside. And uh, I'm doing this. It's a little bit of a cheat. You know, we actually have amazing internet at our house. We have gigabit internet. And um, if we were going to have a whole separate internet connection, I'd have to pay for two gigabit connections. Um, from the uh, the internet company and they would have to you know trench out there and do this whole thing I'd have to pay for it anyway so um, so we put our own team of dudes together I found the cable I bought the cable and uh, I have converter boxes so it'll be Ethernet to fiber optic on the send side and so it'll just be an additional feed off of the modem uh, the gigabit modem and then it runs fiber optic all the way down here and then there'll be a box at the other end that converts fiber optic back to ethernet it's going to go into a 48 channel uh ethernet switch you know so i can send the network everywhere it needs to go there's going to be you know a bunch of um actual network connections little ports where you can plug in a computer you know i'll have a direct connection for my main computer in the control room um, there's going to be uh, a bunch of Sono speakers that are on the network, uh, a bunch of TVs throughout the whole structure for the apartments and the lounge and all that stuff. Um, so you can just get super fast internet connection through the rest of the building. So it goes through here. We actually just started backfilling and, and then comes up through here. And uh, so there it is punches through the wall there gets into the building and so then we're gonna have to run it up this wall so we'll cut a hole up there and then run it along the inside of this ceiling because we're actually going to add an additional ceiling here there's going to be a wood shop in this space and the apartments are right above so <laughs> i'm gonna do a little soundproofing and so then we go along here, he'll tuck up above this roll-up door. And then once it gets here, we're not doing an additional ceiling. So we'll be drilling holes through all the joists, like you see there where this old electrical wire was going through. So we gotta drill all these holes, 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 holes. We go all the way down here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There's gonna be some big old spots that we gotta get through. I'm gonna kind of suck, but uh, we get all the way down here. This right here, this framed in area is the machine room. There's one of the open frame racks. There's actually gonna be two of these. And I had this huge revelation. I was gonna have all the patch bays um, in a little rack that's in the control room with me. And I realized it's really stupid because the back of the rack is backed up against the wall. There's a million cables going to the back of the patch bays. And so the, what we're gonna do is these open frame racks are gonna just the front will just peek through into the control room. They'll probably stick out about six inches. They'll be flush with all the um, acoustic treatment. And then the backside will be completely exposed. Uh, so anytime I need to change anything with the patch base or whatever, you have super easy access to it. And so I'm extremely excited about that revelation. Yeah, so the fiber optic, it'll be run along the ceiling, comes across here, goes over here, and then It'll come down, we'll have the little fiber to ethernet converter right here. And then the switch is gonna be the top top thing in this rack. We got gigabit, baby. 
Okay, so uh, in this, uh, this next bit, you actually get to see the results of uh, all the efforts to get that fiber optic line out there, and I finally get a chance to hook it up, test it, see if it works. Here we go, check it out. All right, well, moment of truth here. See if um, this, uh, <laughs> uh, this fiber optic thing actually worked. You know, it's, it's, in, it's in the building. Here it is, it came in over here. Uh, I still need to run it up across. I think I showed that in the last video, but you can see the the big swath that was carved out uh, along the road here. This is where they dug through the asphalt. This is digging all the way along the road, all the way over to where the bridge is and all of that stuff. It's in. I just set up the fiber optic converters. Um, that's supposed to take gigabit internet from our house all the way over here. And, uh, you know, so it's a ethernet uh, conversion and it gets converted to fiber optic and then it gets converted back here. With this little box, um, I plugged in the fiber optic cables and some lights turned on. So that's, some lights turned on there. That's a good sign. There's some blinking, that's a good sign. Something's going on. I've never used this stuff before. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm gonna plug in my laptop. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, we're into the little box. Oh, even more lights just lit up. That's a good sign. Seems to think it's doing something. I definitely won't get any sort of Wi-Fi out here, so I'm just going to turn that off. And here, let's open up Network Preferences and see. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> That's a good sign right there. Okay. Uh, let's see, I was watching Outlaw Josie Wales while doing some wiring last night. Uh, but here, let's go to... Let's go to this, see what we get. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Not exactly one gig, but you know, I think 860 megabits will probably work okay. Ooh, there's the upload. All right, so I'll be able to send sessions faster than I can receive them. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> 940. We've got gigabit, oh my God. Okay, uh, so this next bit, uh, you know, I've, I've talked about a little bit at times, um, just always been a dream of mine uh, to have a pond that has fish in it. I, I do enjoy fishing and uh, and so, um, this was the first time ever where I was going to try and have that uh, available in my life. Um, it was finally all coming together in this moment. So uh, here it is. Check it out. Well, look at that. We got a few tadpoles. Just a few. Just a few. I mean, it looks like the sinking of the Titanic. You know how, like, yeah. the frame just keeps on zooming out and you just see more and more and more and more. People, and more people. yeah, just floundering in the water. Yeah. Well, tadpoles, watch out. You are about to be some delicious food. Yeah, because we're about to add what is the equivalent of a great white shark to you. It's going to be very exciting. Okay, so it's... It's actually going to happen. Um, I think I've mentioned it in passing a couple times, but I've been de determined to get fish in this pond of mine. And um, I found a guy, he's gonna drive over here with a truck and put 50 trout in this pond. Uh, there's our lovely waterfall. So we have a fresh supply of river water going 24 hours in there so the water stays nice and cool and clear little trouties should be super happy so we're gonna do uh 30 rainbow trout that are kind of medium size 
like nine inches to 12 inches. And then apparently he's got some brook trout that are big, you know, as big as like 15 inches that he just throws in there. It's incredible. And I just, I kind of can't believe this is actually happening. It just, it seems like one of those things that you say you're gonna do, but just never happens. But I'm, I'm a determined motherfucker. I'm gonna have some damn trout in my pond. <laughs> it's going down. So this is like probably the remaining 40 fish or so, yeah? Cause the- Yo, yeah. You got 50 fish total, right? You yeah. 30 and 20. Yeah. I'll try to dump them slow enough so you can get a picture. Cool. Oh man, I'm gonna go there. There they go. <laughs> In they go. Alright, enjoy your new home guys. This one, there's the guy right there. See those here and over there. Yeah. I can't tell if that's a... That's I would a, have to say that the oxygen level is very, very high. With that much water coming in. And yeah, yeah. yeah. There's one right here, but he seems to be fine. That was laying there, getting used to the temperature. So it takes him a few minutes, but it's coming in. Okay, yeah, so, so these are both thick right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. one right there, you can see that's those big bookies. Right. But they act just fine. We're just getting the sick in and how the body comes to get just about the same as the water when that's going away. Oh, well, there you go. Going into shock. Yeah, so they are, that's very quick. Yeah. All things have to do Good. Wow, I see it splashing in like that. That's really good. So. I know, it's just an explosion every night. So, there it is, the fish went in, and uh, it, was, it was incredible for, uh, uh, you know, a, a period of time. And then, uh, there was, <laughs> I think this will probably show up again in some, some later episodes, but uh, the, the whole pond stocking thing... Um, <laughs> didn't go exactly as planned like so much of this whole thing um you know that the, the pond is going to be that is a life project like that's a lifelong project i'm always going to be messing with that pond uh, but in this round uh you know we we put the put the trout in there and for a couple weeks you know it was amazing the fish were in there you could see them jumping at times and when i had time i'd go and cast a line and you know in, invariably, you know, you'd be able to, you know, catch a fish, have the excitement of catching a fish. And, um, but then it sort of slowed down and stopped. And I was like, I wonder if, where are all the fish? Are they just, are they just hiding? Are they tired of me? Uh, and it turned out that um, somehow the fish were getting out of the pond and into the little river that runs through the property. Um, there was, uh, there's an overflow drain in the pond and the, the water's supposed to go over the top, but it wasn't. It was cracked on the bottom and a huge amount of water is gushing underneath. I don't really know how the fish were getting down there because the, the thing was surrounded by soil, but some, somehow the fish were getting down, um, you know, to this crack in the bottom and getting out and just, go, <laughs> so they all went back into the, into the river, you know, because, uh, my buddy Alex, he went, you know, went down to the river and spent some time fishing down there and was catching all, you know, catching the fish down there. And I'd never seen a trout down there before. So they were, they were definitely the ones that um, had just been put in the pond. So, you know, that's a lot of what this has been, you know, it's just been um, just like trying stuff. And half the time it's a disaster and it doesn't work. And then, you know, you, you learn something and, and you try again. Um, and 
I think for me, I just love, I love the experience, you know, like having the experience of having the fish go in and having a couple of weeks where it was great and then realizing, oh my God, all the fish are getting out. What are we going to do? And then later, you know, I tried to figure out a solution for patching up this, uh, this overflow drain. I, I think there is footage. I'm, I'll leave it for later because uh, it was it was insane uh, what <laughs> what I had to do to try and fix this drain. But uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll be able to check that out later on. So that's it for this episode. So next one, the title is coming back to a whole new big room. All right, we'll check that out.